Hi, this is John with ClothGuru.com, and in this tutorial we're going to continue looking at the 3D window and what the buttons do. So over in Marvelous Designer in our 3D window, in our last tutorial we looked at these buttons and toggles and what they do. Now we're going to look at these ones along the top. So if I haven't already mentioned it, I think I did in my interface tutorial, you can grab the handles of each of these little menu items and you can rearrange them or you can dock them at different places along the UI. Like if I wanted to rearrange this, I could drag it over here or I could drag this over here if I wanted to do that. So you're able to do that by grabbing these handles and dragging them around. So let's start looking at what each of these buttons do. So the first one over at the left is the simulate button. This is probably the most important because in Marvelous Designer you want to be able to simulate to get a realistic drape of how your garment's looking. So the simulate button, if I click it on, you'll notice it starts to simulate. So you notice here that my skirt is falling down because there's nothing to hold it up, there's not enough friction. Well, one of the very unique things about Marvelous Designer is that you can actually undo a simulation. So if I come here to edit undo, I can control Z as well to undo that. Or I could redo it if I wanted to. So the hotkey for the simulate button is the space bar. So if I click space bar, it turns it on, click it again, turns it off. It's just a toggle. For those users that are maybe coming from, uh, from Houdini, the software package Houdini, the spacebar in Houdini is used to control the camera, so if you need to remap the spacebar in Marvelous Designer because you keep hitting it and turning on the sim, just remember you can do that in your user settings if for some reason you need to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and undo and get back to our regular state here. So your next button here is the Select and Move tool. And this is the button that you will probably be on the most when you're in your 3D view. So the Select and Move tool does exactly what it says. You can select parts of your garment, and it selects per pattern piece. So you'll notice as I select each pattern piece, it's selecting the pattern pieces over here. Alternately, I can select them in the 2D view. But I also have the ability to move those pieces here in the 3D view, and you'll notice this widget pops up. Yours might look a little different, actually, from mine right now. In Marvelous Designer, it's called the Gizmo. So if you come up here to your Preferences, I believe by default the Gizmo is set to Screen Coordinates, which means that it's always in a fixed X and, or X and Y coordinate system on the screen. And Z is obviously the depth of the screen. So you notice as I turn around, X and Y are always up and sideways. If you're not used to that coordinate system, which I wasn't very used to it when I first started with Marvelous Designer, you can choose local coordinate system or you could choose world coordinate system. World coordinate system is what I'm most used to and that keeps the coordinate system fixed in 3D space. So as I move around, that coordinate system stays consistent no matter where I orbit or move. Oops. Another thing to note about the gizmo is that if you select more than one pattern in the 3D view, the gizmo disappears, which is really annoying, and I've actually reported this as a bug. You can still move patterns by clicking and dragging on them, but you don't have a gizmo to do any fine-grained or constrained movements. You can only move one pattern piece at a time with the gizmo, which is kind of annoying. So hopefully they'll fix that in a future release. But you can move along an axis by clicking on these different things. It works like most gizmos in any 3D package. You can also rotate if you'd like to do that. So that is the move and select tool. The next tool is the select mesh tool. So well, this is new in Marvelous Designer 4, and what this allows you to do is it allows you to select vertices across multiple meshes. 
So if I select this, you'll notice I've highlighted all this green sp space here. I've selected all the vertices on these different meshes. And what I can now do is I can move these all together. So if I grab and I pull that, I can move this around. You'll notice, though, that this selection is screen-based. It does not go through to the other side. So if I select this whole thing here, it only selected this, these front faces that were visible. So that's just something to be aware of. So what is this useful for? Well, this is useful for doing translations of, of vertices. Like let's say, for example, that this part of the dress was going through the leg of the avatar. And I just wanted to move it out of the way so that I could get the simulation going again. Well, I could do that right here. And then I could start the simulation, and this would relax. It's also useful for doing things like folding up collars or folding up sleeves, allowing you to make translations of large areas of vertices at once, and arbitrary areas of vertices, not being constrained to a pattern piece. So that's what this tool does. The next tool allows us to let's click that off. The next tool allows us to make multiple pins at once. So we already looked at in our last tutorial how to make pins with the W key. What this will allow us to do is it'll allow us to marquee select and create a ton of pins at once. So you can see all the pins that I'm creating at once as I go and select across the avatar. So now I've created all of those pins. If I want to get rid of those pins, I can come up here under the 3D Garment menu to pin, and I can say remove all pins or control W, and then they're removed. These next tools are used for, for creating tacks or basting. So this is also new in Marvelous Designer 4. So first we need to actually create a tack. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and I will make one down here and I'll click here and I'll click again over here so what this has done is it's created a little line where I'm basically sewing these two pieces together so in tailoring or sewing tacking or basting is basically a temporary stitch and this allows you to do lots of different things um, I won't go into exactly what it's useful for right now. I'll just be aware that it's here and we'll talk about how to use it later. But if I turn on the simulation now, what you'll notice is those two points pull together. So I can easily edit this as well if I'm in the edit basting tool and I can come in here and I can select these points. I can move them to a different space if I want or I can just select them and I can delete them. And now when I hit simulate again they're gone. This tool here allows you to tack various parts to the avatar. So that could be useful if you were basically prototyping a garment and you were draping it on and it wasn't sewn together yet. You might want to tack pieces onto the garment. It's basically like working with a dress form and muslin and you're putting it up there on the dress form and seeing how it falls and drapes. So I'm noticing now that this video is running a little bit long. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it right here. And we will go over the last couple of buttons in the next video. Thanks for watching.